Hi, my name is Adam Grayson, and I'd like to show you a particle LOD system that I built for our capstone game Grapple. So one of the problems in our game is that we have a lot of particles, and those can slow the game down very hard, very fast. So it was an issue that definitely needed to be addressed. The first thing I tried to do was just simply set up a plane and set up a camera and have a camera look at a particle and have that camera rendered to a texture. So essentially it was just a flat plane with a texture of the moving particle. And while that alone actually looked pretty good, it had some very obvious limitations. For example, if you walk through the particle, you notice that it's just a plane. Or if you go to the side of it, you can see, again, that it's just a plane. So the first step was making sure that the plane always faced the camera. And fortunately, that turned out to be a relatively easy task with just a few lines of code. The next step was to make sure that the texture didn't render anything but the particle it was looking at, such as a skybox or maybe any objects behind it. Unfortunately, the alpha channels of the cameras that I'm using for this are pretty useless, so I took three cameras, made sure that each of their near and far clipping planes only saw the particles, gave them each a different background color, then separated their channels out only to append them back together, leaving me with only the color from the particle without the background. And that is the how, so let me show you what it actually looks like. This is just a simple level with one instance of the particle, so you can see what it looks like going back and forth. And hopefully you can't tell the change. Right now it's a particle, and as we get farther away, it transitions back to just a single plane. This is the same level, only with two different particles, to show that we can use this method with any of the particles we have in-game. And again, as we get closer, it'll transition to a particle, and as we get farther away, it'll go back to a mesh. The same is true for this particle over here, except you may notice that something's a little bit off. The particles seem to disappear, then reappear below where it should have been, which is simply due to the texture being a little bit offset from where the particle actually spawns. Thankfully, there are parameters in these actors that can be adjusted to accommodate for these offsets, as well as other things such as when the particle spawns, when the mesh despawns, the scale of the particle, and the actual particle to be used. This again is the same scene, only using multiple instances of the actors to show the minimal drop in frame rate, even when using dozens of these particles. However, if many of these particles are close together, the frame rate will drop, though not as steeply as it did before this method was introduced. And finally, here are the particles in-game. Okay. 